Good afternoon everyone. We're here today to help you with cover crop selection. We wanted to talk about one spe species of cover crops which you may have heard a lot about. It's called the brassica. There's a, a number of cover crops in the brassica families. It includes radish, which a lot of you have experience with, turnips, rapeseed, and also mustards. So we're going to give you some of the highlights about those and to begin with let's talk about the root systems on these different crops. We have in front of us here those different types of cover crops. This is a purple top turnip as you can probably see by the purple top on it and this type of cover crop grows a large bulb and that bulb is near the topsoil and so it's really good for doing some reducing compaction in the topsoil layers. These are examples of uh, the radishes and you can see it's a longer tuber and these tend to do more for deep tillage. These are rape seeds. You can see they're somewhat of a fibrous root. They're not as pronounced as the turnips and the radishes but again it is a larger root that can do that type of biotill that we're looking for. And finally we have a mustard here, Caliente mustard, and that root also tends to be more similar to the rapeseed than it does the turnip or the radish families. Now there are a number of things that are somewhat unique to brassicas. We have brassicas in the plots here. To my right we have um, purple top turnips, we have mustard, and we also have rapeseed, dwarf Essex rapeseed. You can see that they are a leafy type cover crop. They grow very rapidly and that's one of the advantages. Because of that rapid growth, they, they get up quickly, they're trying to reproduce, and because of that you get a lot of shading of the soil and that helps a lot with weed control. The other thing that brassicas have are some chemical compounds called glucosetylates and these compounds um, are natural inhibitors for things like weeds. So if we were to look within these plots you would see that these are relatively weed free plots compared to maybe some of the other plots like we have here that um, were slower growing type of cover crops. Now because these cover crops tend to winter kill, they, most of them will winter kill except for dwarf S6 rape. Um, they decay ra quite rapidly because of their um, high moisture content. So we do have to be somewhat concerned about losing the nutrients that they have taken up during their growing season. So in a lot of cases we, represent, we would recommend that you not plant these as a single species cover crop, we would recommend that they be planted with uh, a grass such as oats, annual rye grass, or a winter cereal. But they have a lot of advantages. They're kind of a fun cover crop. They, they grow quick, they look good, and do some research on them. See if they might fit into your rotation.